Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, put a comment down below and why you clicked onto that thumbnail. All right, let's get into it. All right guys, we're gonna be showing some love to the SGXT. Uh, I've been letting it go just a little bit. So we're gonna head off for a records run, which I did last weekend, and then we'll come back and we'll go through some things. Pack up some tools, we'll go to the records. All right, got the tools together. Wish I could drive that for us. Let's go get the other one. What is that? Oh, it's an orange. Hmm, I think I might change my blow valve out here on the road. All right, we are back to 50-50 on the blow valve. Let's uh, let it warm up for a little bit and then we'll get going to the wreckers. Alrighty guys, um, at the wreckers, let's see what we can find. All right, got absolutely nothing. The newest Forester that went in a couple of weeks ago, um, rear trim has already gone. And the dipsticks on the NA EJ25 are the same length. I don't know if I need a dual cam, quad cam. Anyway, I might go to another's records and check them out. There's probably more Subarus there. All right, guys, um, at Jolly's now. It's going to take some 10 mils uh, open ender, ratchet, and socket. And I think that's all I need to get a dipstick tube and dipstick off instead of carrying around my toolbox the whole time. It's really heavy. Anyways, let's get in there. All right, guys, no dipstick or dipstick tube. There was no double overhead Subarus there but I did get that trim piece for the back so it's that second gen so instead of having the Subaru letters we just got the badge now so I like it I like that one a lot better it looks a lot cleaner anyways we're gonna head home now all right so unfortunately I couldn't get the dipstick I'm gonna have to look it up on the part numbers see if they're actually different or if it's just the the dipstick itself not dipstick tube. I'm not sure. It might be the mountain location. Probably the difference between um, double overhead cam and the single head overhead cam. But I did discover with the Skyline that the sedan and the coupe share the same radiator support. So they'll have the same mountain locations for the grill, which is good. But the Skyline that I saw today, the, the grill wasn't there. That's a bit unfortunate. We'll uh, go get the rear garnish for the SGXT, which is actually off an of NA one. And uh, we'll have a look at that. All right, guys, so here is the trim piece that we'll eventually get onto the SGXT. A lot neater. Now we're going to actually move back onto the gauge pipe. And we're going to start setting this. So I've got the SG in the garage. Got a few little things that we need to do. I need to change over this coolant hose here. It's still quite warm. I did drive this today. This is my daily. So see, there's a bit of pressure still in there. All right. So yesterday I was a little bit silly and I did a bit of a hard launch. And I think I may have fried the clutch a little bit so probably in the not too distant future we're going to be doing a clutch replacement on this so look out for that uh video coming out shortly uh, we still need to detail this side but we'll do a couple of little things here we'll get rid of the rubbish and we'll take a few things to work to get rid of we also if you saw just before i was at the records looking for double overhead cam turbo I've got one here <laughs> I didn't even think I've got my other Forester out there I've got this Forester here this is what I need to put it onto that one but I looked up both VIN numbers and looking for parts and apparently the dipsticks are the same dipstick tube is the same I've got my old sump down there which I've got a 
dash 10 on it and I've got my new sump I'm going to get these onto the bench put them side by side and see if there actually is any difference on the location of where the dipstick goes in alright so here's the box of goodies that I got recently I got this radiator hose for my other one because I've cut it and put a sensor in there which I don't need anymore so it's going on the SF5 this is the hose that we're going to be putting on today that runs from the expansion tank to the turbo or oh, the other way because that's the way the coolant flows um, got the bracket for the idler pulley for the water pump that's for the SF5 this is all SF5 stuff cam bolts, cam seals drain plug don't know why I bought that because it came with one oil seal. Don't know. Do ah hose clamps too. The stock ones. Yep, yeah, don't know. They're going on the SG. I'll just show you the, the bolts. There's the part number. The one three at the start there. Might list them all down below for you guys if you are looking for them. Oh, and the seals. Yep. Alright. So, here's a sum. Haven't taken it out yet. Yeah, this. Obviously, it isn't the same sump as what's on my SD behind you guys because this allows for different headers. So it's more volume, apparently. And what I need to do is check by eye. Hey guys, that uh, kind of looks the same to me. I'm going to measure it up. So, this mounting face here is down to where the tube goes in. I'm going to measure it and see if there's a different distance. Vernius. And hook onto the bottom of the. Flush where it goes in. I'm going to say 60 mil. 60 mil. That's a bit of. Looks the same to me. Well, as long as it seals and it holds. Hey, look, it comes with the seal. I didn't need that other one. Let's see. That's an assembly. Not just the sun. Yeah. So Car Mods Australia sell these. Like 200 or what? And from parts key from Dubai for a lot cheaper. That's where I get all my stuff now. And they are very quick. They are quicker than Car Mods Australia sometimes. Alright guys, so this is how I bought the car. It's like got a gardening thing from Bunnings in 90 degrees. Got four worm clamps on there. So, I'm gonna undo. I don't know if I'm losing.
Uh, it's a little bit down. Alright. So, we, judging by the level, we hopefully can get this off and not oh, spill too much. So I'll stuff a rag down there, we'll undo that and that, and we'll rip that off and get the other one on there nice and quick. So these are the correct ones, I got them off the same exploded view. So these were here and just click, yep, one of them. When you select one, it goes two because it knows it needs two for the hose. So to make sure that I put it on the right way. Because one is a bit longer than the other end. So we'll see what we need to do. This is looks like it's oil covered. Smells rubbery. Right, by the looks of it, we are going alongside at the top. It looks like they've cut one of these and joined it, so there must have been a hole here. Alright, let's get this old one off. Hopefully it's not too hard. Yeah, taking that one off. Uh, I've tried to stuff it. Well, I've got more green coolant there, so it's okay if I lose a little. I don't want to lose any, really, but I think I will. Not sure how I'm going to go getting this bottom one off. It's these tend to want to fight. Shouldn't be any coolant. Whoa! It's crusty. Coming off easy. Where's the other one? <clears throat> no, they've just swollen. It's definitely not the right use. no coolant in it at all. Alright, so it's definitely swollen here. This isn't the proper one. Um, it's just a 15 30 tooths. And I dropped the um, the clean. Well, it didn't spill any, so we know that we need to fill it up. Should seem easy enough. Just take it from it. Cool. Get my bucket down, we'll put it on there, we'll fill it up. See if it burps. Alright, got the bucket on there. So yeah, there wasn't any coolant in there, so I'm just gonna chuck some more concentrate concentrate in there. Coolant is all done and bled. Our overflow is all full. It's up to full mark. We should be good with all the coolant. Now I need to do the high low beam in this light here. Alright, so a few weeks ago we did have a look at this and it looked like it was a bit loose. I tapped it and it came back on. But now it's completely gone. So I'm going to replace the globe. Eventually we'll, we will get LEDs. Alright guys, it was a pretty easy fix just to swap over the globe that I had out of my other Forester. They're the same globes. 
like I said before, I'm going to upgrade these to the LEDs, just like in the Forester. So this will, uh, my other Forester. So this will do for now. And eventually I'll probably change these too. But you guys are going to go flat like you did before. So uh, we'll come back soon. Alright guys, just cleaned up this area here. So that's in the back of the car. Just got it running. See if this coolant hose was all good. And it seems to be good. We'll find out tomorrow when I take it to work. So guys, that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, comment down below. And guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next episode. Bye.